When I was in fifth grade, I was identified as EMR, labeled, educable, mentally retarded. Put back from the fifth grade into the fourth grade and stayed in that category until I got out of high school. I don't have any college training, but I met a high school teacher who one day changed my life. I was waiting on another student, and when he came in, he said to me, young man, go to the board and write what I'm about to tell you. And I said, I, I can't do that, sir. He said, why not? I said, I'm not one of your students. He said, it doesn't matter. Follow my directions now. I said, I can't do that, sir. He said, why not? I said, because I'm educable, mentally retarded. And he came from behind his desk and he looked at me. He said, don't ever say that again. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Most people go through life holding back. If you get into the habit of just being mediocre, it will become a part of your consciousness. If you get in the habit of giving less than what you have it within you to give, it will begin to reflect itself in your personality. It will begin to damage you psychologically. And you don't want to be a part of that kind of self-destructive behavior. You want to set some high standards for yourself. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. You want to become successful in life, young man. He said, number one, you've got to change your mindset. He said, you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Number two, practice OQP, only quality people. And the third thing he said, develop your communication skills because once you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. Father today, and if that person just keep on knocking, can you believe that fool still knocking? <laughs> Pretty soon you say, what is it? What do you want? And that's how you've got to be about your dream. Some people, well, I guess ain't nobody home. <laughs> I knocked on the door, but nobody came. I heard the television on and people were moving around, but I guess opportunity probably went out the back door. Oh, no, no, no. See, life is not just that simple. It's not that cut and dry. And that's why most people never realize their personal greatness, because they're casual about life. And when you are casual about life, you will end up a casualty.